Hello everybody, my name is Jeremy and welcome to my channel. So I wanted to talk about Project Runway Season 16. I want to do some very informal reviews as the season goes on because I love Project Runway. I've been watching it for a couple years but I've always watched it on Hulu. I haven't watched it actually live, so this is my first year watching it live, so I want to do some reviews on it. I'm going to be talking about episode one tonight. I love the new format of the season. I love that the models are curvy and regular sized. I think Heidi said that the the size of the models range from 2 to 22 this season, which is insane. And I think we can all thank Ashley, the winner of last season, for kind of introducing a new idea of what fashion is, that it's not just one size. It's not just size 2 through 6, that there are actually real women in the world who have real bodies. I think it's really cool that we get some actual, like, real-sized women this season. I love that the models are having confessions so far. This is the first season that I've seen the models have confessions. The only other time that I can think of is a couple seasons back, there was a model who was not too happy. Her contestant was giving her, like, scraps, and she wasn't getting, like, an expensive dress. She was getting, like, garbage, and she wasn't happy about that. But that's the last time I can think of that a model was actually brought in for a confessional, but the models get to actually talk this time, which I think is really cool because we get to see their perspective on what's going on. So far, I'm really liking Kenya. I really like Margarita. There's something kind of like saucy about her. And I really liked Claire and Sean initially, but as the, the, as the episode was going on, I, I'm not sure how I feel about them. I feel like they're kind of putting on a TV personality and I want to see realness from them. This is the red carpet challenge, which is pretty cool to see very early on in the season. And I love that they got to go to mood in the first episode. Like, the last several seasons of Project Runway are just screaming that they had to wait like 10 episodes to go to mood. Just Fab and Mary Kay got the boot. It's now JCPenney and Avon. Not too sure how I feel about JCPenney taking over. I guess I don't look at them like a luxe brand. Not that Just Fab is luxe, but like, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, I thought, I think that Just Fab kind of has something like fun and flirty and kind of like luxy about it. I don't really see JCPenney in that light, so I don't know. On to the runway. My top favorite looks were Kenya's mermaid dress. I thought it was so pretty and well done for the amount of time that she had. I think she could have won if the dress had been in some type of color or like if there had been a print involved, but just the sheer amount of work that was put into that gown was impeccable for one day. Anya's was really fierce and I love her point of view of modesty. I just hope that she can show diversity and versatility throughout the season because I feel like the judges don't respond to seeing the same type of look and silhouette every episode so I hope that she can give more if that makes sense. But I do love her point of view and I love that that is her design aesthetic and I hope that she can stay true to that and kind of give more. I really liked Claire's dress that she made. I thought it was really fun and flirty and like it was kind of cool and punk rock and cute all at the same time. I liked all the ruffles in the different color on the side. I thought there was something so fun about that. I don't know if you'd necessarily see that on a red carpet, but I still think it was cool. And then Deontay, who was the winner of this episode, his dress was just fantastic in the way that print laid and it didn't look messy the way that he was able to line it all up. It looked really flawless and that's very difficult to do with the print. And I thought it kind of it, it kind of reminded me of like a super high fashion version of season nine's winner, Anya. Kind of that, um, that tropical like island type of feel that was so like easy and yet it flowed and it was beautiful and elegant. I thought there was something like, it, it very much reminded me of her. A lot of the dresses on this runway didn't look like they cost $300. And I think that was my problem with a lot of them is they had $300 to spend at Mood, but they didn't look like $300 dresses. Like most of them I would buy for like $10 at Ross. Like I wouldn't even think about spending more than $15 on some of them. So I was kind of surprised that some of those dresses made it to the runway. But I like all the personalities this season, so I feel like it's gonna be interesting. I don't know if I would even necessarily pay $300 for like Deontay's dress, but I still think they were really fabulous. I just don't know if it was like $300 dresses. Cha Cha is out. I thought he was kind of, <laughs> I thought he was fun with his Duffy that he walked in with and the gelatoni that he had hanging on in his shirt. Like he definitely had a point of view towards fashion that I think 
is not necessarily the American standard of fashion. I think he's definitely, from kind of what I gathered from him, I think he's looking towards like, um, like a Kari Pami Pami type, someone who's not really too worried about the silhouette, just something that is really big and colorful and dramatic. And I, I think that's what his design aesthetic is for. And there's nothing bad with that. It's just not necessarily like fashion. So I'm bummed that he went out so early. I think he could have kept the sleeves. I think he could have kept even the center if it had just been tailored a little bit more. I think that would have read more like fashion and I think he probably could have been safe because there was one dress that came out. I don't remember who designed it, but the waist was like up here and then the breasts were down here too. Like the slit was so long and it made her boobs look really saggy since the waist was so high up. Um, the illusion kind of looked like she had really saggy breasts. So I think that could have been another bottom look. And I think if Chacha had just fitted the poofiness of that top down just a little bit, I think it would have probably been safe. Best quotes from this episode, business cleavage, family sized in regards to the model shapes. And then I think the, the one that just was like the Michael Kors read of the, of the episode was, she looks like a C-list celebrity with a bad stylist. Okay, maybe it wasn't like Michael Kors, but it was like pretty close to something that Michael Kors would come up with. The unconventional challenge is next, and it's with recycled materials. So we'll see what season RuPaul's Drag Race decides to steal this challenge and incorporate it into. Overall, I was really impressed. I liked this first episode. I thought Heidi looked so good in the opening when she came out in that big uh, floofy like red top. It was so freaking cute. Happy Sweet 16 to Project Runway and Hope you all stick around for more of these reviews. Let me know what you thought about the episode in the comments below. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye.